In computer science and computer programming, system time represents a computer system's notion of the passing of time. In this sense, time also includes the passing of days on the calendar. System time is measured by a system clock, which is typically implemented as a simple count of the number of ticks that have transpired since some arbitrary starting date, called the epoch. For example, Unix and POSIX compliant systems encode system time, Unix time as the number of seconds elapsed since the start of the Unix epoch at 1 January 1970 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds UT, with exceptions for leap seconds. Systems that implement the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of the Windows API, such as Windows 9X and Windows NT, provide the system time as both SYSTEMTIME, represented as a year per month per day per hour per minute per second, milliseconds value, and file time, represented as a count of the number of 100 nanosecond ticks since 1 January 1601 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds UT as reckoned in the proleptic Gregorian calendar. System time can be converted into calendar time, which is a form more suitable for human comprehension. For example, the Unix system time 1 billion seconds since the beginning of the epoch translates into the calendar time 9 September 2001 1 hour 46 minutes and 40 seconds UT. Library subroutines that handle such conversions may also deal with adjustments for timezones, daylight saving time DST, leap seconds, and the user's locale settings. Library routines are also generally provided that convert calendar times into system times. Other time measurements Closely related to system time is process time, which is a count of the total CPU time consumed by an executing process. It may be split into user and system CPU time, representing the time spent executing user code and system kernel code, respectively. Process times are a tally of CPU instructions or clock cycles and generally have no direct correlation to wall time. File systems keep track of the times that files are created, modified, and or accessed by storing timestamps in the file control block of each file and directory. History Most first-generation personal computers did not keep track of dates and times. These included systems that ran the CP.M operating system, as well as early models of the Apple II, the BBC Micro, and the Commodore PET, among others. Add-on peripheral boards that included real-time clock chips with onboard battery backup were available for the IBM PC and XT, but the IBM AT was the first widely available PC that came equipped with date, time hardware built into the motherboard. Prior to the widespread availability of computer networks, most personal computer systems that did track system time did so only with respect to local time and did not make allowances for different time zones. With current technology, most modern computers keep track of local civil time, as do many other household and personal devices such as VCRs, DVRs, cable TV receivers, PDAs, pagers, cell phones, fax machines, telephone answering machines, cameras, camcorders, central air conditioners, and microwave ovens. Microcontrollers operating within embedded systems such as the Raspberry Pi, Arduino, and other similar systems do not always have internal hardware to keep track of time. Many such controller systems operate without knowledge of the external time. Those that require such information typically initialize their base time upon rebooting by obtaining the current time from an external source, such as from a time server or external clock, or by prompting the user to manually enter the current time. Implementation The system clock is typically implemented as a programmable interval timer that periodically interrupts the CPU, which then starts executing a timer interrupt service routine. This routine typically adds one tick to the system clock a simple counter and handles other periodic housekeeping tasks preemption, etc. before returning to the task the CPU was executing before the interruption. Topic: Retrieving system time. The following tables illustrate methods for retrieving the system time in various operating systems, programming languages, and applications. 
Values marked by asterisk are system dependent and may differ across implementations. All dates are given as Gregorian or proleptic Gregorian calendar dates. Note that the resolution of an implementation's measurement of time does not imply the same precision of such measurements. For example, a system might return the current time as a value measured in microseconds, but actually be capable of discerning individual clock ticks with a frequency of only 100 Hz 10 milliseconds. Topic: <laughs> Operating systems. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programming languages and applications. See also equals equals notes. <laughs>